Stop wasting money on the wrong axes. Hello Axie Nation. In today's video, I'm going to explain the steps you need to take to get the best axes that suit your needs. Let's jump right in. When buying axes, there are four important factors to consider. But first, you need to ask yourself, what am I buying these axes for? Well, I would classify you either as a breeder or a player. You are a player if you purely want a team to play the game and earn SLP to sell on the marketplace. Pros to being a player. Axes will cost less and you will basically start making money within your first two weeks of playing. Cons. No real growth in how much you earn per month depending on the price of SLP so you can expect a constant-ish amount earned per month. A breeder wants to use the SLP they earn in the game to create more axes, either to create scholarship programs or to experiment and craft unique and better axes. Pros, you will make more money exponentially over time since you are growing your assets by creating more axes. Also, you will probably have more energy to play with in-game as you will own more than three axes at some point, which in turn also increases the amount you can earn per day. Cons, you won't necessarily make any money for the first few months, since you will likely be using the SLP you earn to breed axes instead of selling the SLP for money. Another con to breeding is that it will cost more to start, as your axes will probably be more expensive than those of the normal players, but this will be explained in the next section. Okay, with that being said, there are four main factors to consider when buying axes. 1. What team or classes of axes do you want? If you're interested, here is a great video that explains the different classes and abilities that are important for each class. Link in the description. Decide what you are most interested in and pick the three types of axes you want. 2. Abilities. Once you know what classes you want, make sure you understand the most important abilities they need to possess in order to be good. Be certain about at least two abilities, maybe three, and be prepared to be flexible on the remaining choices to allow for better prices. Okay, now that you know what class you want and what abilities you are looking for, it is time to head over to the marketplace. Once there, you can filter to find what you are looking for. Suppose you want a plant type for a tank, with the abilities Pumpkin for some shield, Vegetal Bite for energy steel, and Carrot. You can input those in the parts section of the filter. This will give you a list of all the axes that fit what you are looking for. Now you're probably asking, which axis should I choose from this list? Well, first, we need to consider two more factors. 3. Breed count. Breed count indicates how many times an axe has bred before. The higher the breed count, the more SLP will cost you to breed with this axe again. Why does this matter? Well, the higher the breed count, the cheaper the axe. So if you are a player who has no intention of breeding, look for axes with a breed count of 3 or more, so you can save money. If your intention is breeding, you will have to look for axes with 3 or less breed count. To give you an idea of the difference in price, let's go back to our plant example. Under general, you can also filter for breed count. As you can see, at the moment, anything from 0 to 7 breed count is included, and the cheapest axe with the abilities we want is now roughly $372, and almost all the cheapest axes here have a breed count of 3 or more. If, for example, we drop this breed count to zero, the price shoots up to $452 for the cheapest axi. Factor number four, genes. Genes are basically only important if you want to breed with your axes. If you are a player, you can take the most messy genes there is and your axi will be fine. Although you might lose a marginal stat point here or there. With genes, the purer, the better. I will post a link to the browser extension called Freaks, which allows me to see the genes like this. Basically, as a breeder, the higher purity, the better the axe is for breeding. This is where the last filter comes in. As a breeder, I would recommend you go for a 6 purity. Now, you can sink down to a 5 purity if you are really tight on budget, but make sure to take a look at the genes in detail. I will make a whole extra video talking about breeding to explain exactly what to look out for in genes, but there is too much to cover in this video. And there you have it. Please subscribe for all things Axie, and thank you for watching. Axie explain out.